Creality just released another variant. Variation of this guy, almost more than any other variant. Of the K1, and it is called the K1 SE. The question is, is it worth getting? And what are the different features or lack of features does it have? Is it gonna be able to hold up against something that is similar to it, like the A1? We're gonna uncover all of that today, just after this. Welcome to the show that sets your mind free. Tech and gadgets, 3D surprise. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Captain Creativity. I am your host, David Merrill, and today we're gonna talk all about the K1 SE. And it's coming out later this month for a price tag of about $359. Now, what is it? Well, essentially, it's it looks like Creality has taken a page out of the Bamboo Lab playbook, and they've taken the K1C removed the enclosure and the AI camera and basically made their own version of a P1P, right? So just like the P1P was a scaled down version of the X1C from Bamboo Labs, the K1SE is a scaled down version of the K1C. It's essentially the same exact printer and you're gonna find all the same things in it. You're gonna find the 600 millimeters per second printing speed, the quick swap tri-metal nozzle that was introduced into the K1C and solved a lot of problems. You're also gonna have all the same benefits of the auto leveling, the input shaping, all those calibration capabilities. It really is the K1C just without those extra components. So who is this printer meant for? Well, essentially, it could really be for anybody who just wants to print in PLA or PETG or TPU. You don't need an enclosure for these filaments, and that's why the P1P was so popular compared to the X1C, because it was the same printer, but just with a lot of bells and whistles removed, but the core functionality and the accuracy and the quality was all maintained. The same here is also true, where the K1SE maintains all the same quality and capability that you would expect from the K1C. You're just not gonna be able to print an ASA or, or ABS. So now the question is, how does it compete? Because obviously there's a lot of competition in this space. How are they going to move this off the shelves? Well, I think that we have to look at their biggest competitor and that's going to be Bamboo Labs A1. The A1 comes the closest in terms of size, speed, and price. So, let's begin. Final Relay K1C versus Bamboo Lab A1. Fight. Okay, first let's talk about the price. The price for the K1 SE is 359. The price for the Bamboo A1 is 339. So obviously price goes to A1. Now let's talk about the build size. The build size for the K1 SE is 220 by 220 by 250. But the A1 is 250 by 250 by 250. So another point goes into the A1 circle. Okay, and now let's talk about speed. Well, the K1 SE, as we discussed, has 600 millimeters per second, and the A1 has 500 millimeters per second. And if we go to some reviews on these products, and one of my favorite YouTubers, Aurora Tech, she does a great breakdown of always comparing different printers, and when she ran her benchmarks on the K1C, which is the same thing as the K1SE, just without, again, the camera and the enclosure. She was able, she was getting on a benchy. She got 19 minutes on the A1 for the benchy versus 17 minutes on the K1SE. So a two minute difference. It wasn't a lot. So just keep in mind, it's not a huge 
difference in speed, but this one would go to the K1S. Now, let's talk about quality. So quality, you know, I've been looking at my results, I was looking at other people's results, and I will tell you from what I've seen, the Bamboo A1 comes out with just a little better in the quality. That's also backed up by Aurora Tech as well, who again, also did an excellent review on the quality comparison. And I tend to agree with her results as they match my results. I would say that that one, I would say it, it's either a tie or a little, but, but maybe a little closer to the A1 side. So I have to say, I'm very torn on this. Um, I definitely would recommend it for schools and home and maker spaces. Yeah, 100%, there's nothing wrong with it. It's essentially the K1C for less money. And again, I personally don't really print that often in ABS or ASA. So for me, uh, PLA, PETG, TPU, that's great for me. And that's why I love the P1Ps. I have A1s, I have an A1 Mini, and I have Creality K1 Max. I, I, I have tons of, of printers from different manufacturers. Um, but if I had to choose between these two, personally, I would probably go with the A1 because one, it was less money. Two, it was a larger build size. The quality was equal, if not a little bit better. The real only thing that I was missing here was the speed, but that was negligible. I mean, that the speed was not enough for me to be scared away from the A1. I, I think that slight drop is, is fine. But that's not to say that Creality may not learn from this. And when they come out, they're gonna see how the sales go. And if they go great, then great, you know, to each their own. But they may drop that price. And then if the price drops, or they'll include the A1, the AI uh, camera in there. And so these are the factors that people are gonna take into consideration when making their 3D printing purchase decision. Well. Anyway, that's the show. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned. Next video, we're going to resume with an unboxing of another 3D printer. Thank you.